Hey ICC family and friends, this is Nathan here with another Midday Connection. So last time um, I talked about Exodus 1414 um, and it just we were just talking about like uh, where do, in our lives can we surrender and let God fight for us. So today's message is kind of a yes and to that. So today's um, verse is 1 Samuel 712. Uh, read the whole chapter by the way, but I'm focusing on 712 today. So the verse says, uh, then Samuel took a stone, set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and called its name Ebenezer. For he said, till now the Lord has helped us. So really awesome thing. So kind of quick background is what happened here is uh, Israel uh, went out, made sacrifice, and prayed. And the Philistines are coming down on them, and God gave them victory over the Philistines. Like God did this thunderous sound, fought for them. It's this really awesome thing. Just totally gave them victory that day. And so Samuel, rightfully so, sets up the stone as, you know, signifying like the victory, a reminder of the victory. So um, Mark Batterson is, in his book, uh, Chase the Lion, um, says this really impactful statement. He says, I don't think that our greatest shortcomings are that we don't feel bad enough about what we've done wrong. It's that I don't think that we feel good enough about what God's done right. And what an what a, what a awesome statement. Right now in our lives, like we're, we're locked up and, you know, it, you know, at home and, and Christine is online schooling, like helping online school the kids and stuff because I was not built for that. I like I can't do that. So that's a really tough thing for me. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of other ways that Satan's trying to attack and like make me impatient. And, and, and so I'm like, you know, my natural instinct is like feel bad about that. But what I need to do is feel good about what God's doing right right now. You know, and like our, our road down here <clears throat> from Minnesota wasn't exactly the easiest road. And so for me, I, I actually, I, some of you know this, some of you don't, but I actually named my boat Ebenezer because I needed that reminder of God's, God's victory. I wanted to feel good about what God did every day. So what's cool is when I walk out in the morning, I see Ebenezer sitting there. I'm like, oh man, that's right. You did this. You did this, God. How awesome are you? Like, I need that reminder. So... You know, I know Ebenezer has a negative connotation in the world, but for me, it's worth the risk because of what it means to me. And, you know, put the Bible verse right underneath it. And I, I just think that that's, that's what we need to do. We need to, find, we need to find places and put up Ebenezer's in our lives to celebrate and be reminded of God's victories in our lives. So really, that's, that's my challenge to all of us is like right now when Satan's really trying to attack us and bring us down, remind us of what we've done wrong. What can we do and put up in our lives? What Ebenezer's can we put up in our lives to be reminded of the victories that God has given us up and down throughout our lives, whether it's big or small, we need to be reminded of them all. And so that's my challenge. Find places to put Ebenezer's in your life today. Thank you, guys.